Good evening, good morning rather. Welcome to another Don Outdoor Adventures. We are going to be doing the proper way to skin and clean a rabbit. First we need a few things. First we need a good sharp knife. I prefer the Outdoor Edge set that my wife got me some years ago. You got a good cutting knife for cleaning. It's a good look at it. It's nice and sharp. Then I got a, a nice pack that I can hang on my belt whenever I need to use it when I'm cleaning a deer or whatever. Then you have the gut hook knife which guts the deer. It cuts rapidly the skin not into the the gut so you won't mess up any of the organs. And uh, that, mm, that's what I prefer to use when I'm uh, cleaning. Then you want to protect yourself with gloves because you never know when you might have a small cut on your hand or in your fingernails. You always want to wear gloves anytime you're cleaning an animal or uh, any wild animal I put it that way because they can have blood that can mix with your blood and it can cause you to be very sick rabbits have that uh, tendency to do that if you don't have gloves on or if you have a small cut on your hand so we're going to get to the rabbit now this is a rabbit that me that I shot yesterday I had him in the garage so he's good and cold he's fresh I'm not worried about him spoiling or anything like that so this is what we're going to be doing today on Don Outdoor Adventures. I'm going to move the camera over here to, so you can see me a little better. If I zoom in, you can see the nails right upside the wall there that I'm going to be hanging him on right there. Okay, and then we're going to, we're going to get back. And so right there, hopefully you can see me. I'm going to hang him up here. Notice I'm not using any gloves yet because I had not started cleaning him yet. And this right here, I'm just hooking him through the leaders <clears throat> on that board. And he's just hanging there until I get ready. So now I'm going to put my gloves on. Zoom back out. I got my gloves, so I'm going to put them on now because I'm getting ready to start skinning the rabbit. And you can pick these up at Walmart. I believe Walmart's got them, or any hardware store. So now, <clears throat> what I'm about to do is uh, start skinning him out. And basically, you want to start up here at his hind legs, and just pull the fur down, and it's fairly easy. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it, see it a little better. You want to zoom in, <clears throat> and then you just start, like I said, right on his legs there. <clears throat> Go down the other leg. Just like that. Then the other side. Then you just grab both of them and just pull downward. So then you just come on down and just pull that hair out right off. And there you have it. That's the basics for skinning a rabbit. <clears throat> Let me zoom in just a little bit more so you guys can see him a little better. I think I'm going to take it off this tripod and move in so we can see him a little bit better. Like I said, you can see him. Oh, too much. I have skinned him out. All the fur is gone. There's his tail. You just get in there a little bit more and just the tail will come pop right off. You just pull it and there you have the little tail and then you just come in here again and you just pull the hair out the rabbit is about the easiest thing to clean or skin just like that and I'm going to put this back on the tripod and uh, we'll start gutting him <clears throat> 